So today, Techno Artist is going to teach me how to draw. How do I get started? Yeah. Okay, okay, so since we're drawing a face, you, you generally just want to draw just, just straight up a circle. Circle. You see, but, it, okay, so that was a triangle. Oh. I'm asking you to draw a circle. Wait. You understand? Is a circle the round one? The circle is the round circular shape. Okay, That's all, right. all I, I need to draw. I think I got it. There we go. Okay, see, you you were getting there. You had the you had the general shape going. However, that looks more like an egg than a head. Uh, well, that, that wasn't a circle. Okay, all right. Well, how about this? How oh, about that? Oh, okay, that that's good. You know, right. that that's a that's a nice circle. You know, cool. pretty now we just need to finish it. No, but, but I have to. Uh, okay, okay. No. There's the eyes. Um. All right. What are you doing? What? What? Where, why? What? Where, what are you doing? No. Uh, no. No. Hey, look! 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 Wait! Wait! Uh, no. Here, look! Hey, it's a face. <laughs> What's up everybody, it's the RCL Man here. Welcome to another episode of Rec Room Late Night. This is a weekly show where I interview content creators here on Rec Room. Tonight's guest is Techno Art. It makes 2D art here in Rec Room, but we'll talk to him later. First, we gotta get into the comments. So the first comment of the night is on the Fall Guys video that we did. Well, it's actually a stream that we did um, this past week. And this is from Pixility. And he asked, uh, is it if you're qualified, do you go further or do you need to choose another mini game? Um, I, I couldn't read the last part of that comment. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so that's basically, it's, it, it's not like the actual Fall Guys game, even though I think the name of the video is actual Fall Guys game because I'm um, circuits, you know what I mean? But actually, there's probably a way you could do it, but multi-room things, I don't know how that works. Anyway, the point is, no, you just choose the mini game, you play them, and then after that you go to the next room, you know, you can't really, like, I guess, keep track of your progress or whatever. Alright everyone, welcome to tonight's interview. Tonight we are interviewing a techno artist, although I think you're, techno. what's, the, the name I first knew you by was techno something, or was it just techno? When the first time? Uh, I used to go by techno XII or 12, Okay. but I changed it to techno arts because... I don't know. Did I say artist? I'm sorry, arts. <laughs> but, uh, uh, so, so yeah, as, as I've said before, I try to get people on here who make some cool stuff in Rec Room, and this guy over here, as it states in his name, makes art. Uh, I will flash a couple of his photos or, or arts, arts up here. Um, last time I spoke to you was in the middle of a stream, and you were saying uh, you had a, a picture you wanted to enter into the 2D art contest, right? Yeah, I mean, and we took a look at it. It was pretty good, man. I liked it. It's, it's, I liked some of the other stuff that 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 you've made. It seems to be kind of uh, anime influenced in a way. I correct. I'm. I generally, I'm either doing an anime drawing or a record drawing. Uh, I try. I'm trying to branch out into more stuff, like with the art contest. Mm -hmm. That was my first time, like doing like an actual background. So uh -huh. I'm trying to stretch out into other things. But it's a slow and steady process, basically. Okay, I mean, is there any... Okay, so I tried to paint one time in, like, on Rec Room. I tried to paint. It was, like, a video I did or blah, blah, blah. How, is there anything you could... Okay, hold on. Let me start over. What are your, like, the techniques that you use to paint? Or to... I mean, is it markers? Is it paints? Like, how, how do you do it? Could you explain I, that in words? I, I use a lot of markers. I, I don't generally use paintbrushes. Uh, generally when I'm using markers in, in terms of like erasing and just black lines, I generally use small markers so I have more of a field of view to see what I'm actually drawing. So I generally start out with a sketch, then I draw with my lines and do with coloring and then redraw over those lines like a thousand times and uh, hope the picture comes out well. So you have your blank canvas and you're saying you do almost like an outline. Right. I do I'm an outline to... usually okay. with a usually with a gray marker. Okay, so like an outline uh, as a sketch. Okay. So to get the general shape of what I'm trying to go for. Okay. And I uh actually, generally I like to color it in first, and then I like to outline it, so I don't have to color it or outline it and color it first. 
Wait, so you're just uh, like coloring it, it, sections it and then you outline it? Okay, so I draw an outline. Okay. Gray with outline. those outlines. I draw within those outlines a color okay. and then I draw over the outlines in in black marker. Okay, to like make the the outlines like pop more. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then I know the way that Rec Room works at least with painting, it's like you have to not I know we had spoken before about layers. Obviously they don't have layers, yeah. but in a way it kind of is cuz it's like if you paint everything yeah. or or if you marker everything like black and then you do white over it, like it's kind of like a layer but you can't edit the layer below it, you know? Yeah. So so it's weird. Um the next comment for tonight is on the Circuits V2 tutorial video. This is from uh, Hector Chavez, and he says, just asking, oops, <laughs> he says, just asking, is there a way to make an object an AI? So, like, if you have a model of something, it could turn into an AI. So, at the moment, no, there isn't a way to make something you actually made into an AI. You have to use uh, one of their enemies, basically. Um, yeah, they, they did say in the developer blog a little while back that they were going to try to make it to where you can customize your enemies and make your own enemies. But that's going to be later on down the line. Um, at, at the moment, no, you cannot do that. But anyway, oh, I forgot to ask you. What is your favorite room here in Rec Room? Uh, I don't think I have a favorite room. Me and my friends just generally like to just explore new rooms. New rooms are being made every day, and we like to just explore new ones, you know, find okay. some good ones. So I, I, I generally, when it comes to me, I'm generally not the type of person that has a favorite. I'm very indecisive. Okay. So I'd, I'd say that... I don't have a favorite, but yeah. Okay, so then let me ask you this. Later on, we're going to play a room. What room do you okay. want to play? Ooh. Did not expect that question. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no? Well, I mean, we, we can pick something. We can pick something later. Yeah. But, but I think it's time for our first commercial break, so we'll see you when we come back. Is there a problem, sir? 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 Sir, is there a problem? I'm just gonna start. Hi. Uh, guys, I think this is a problem. Hi. Sir, is there a problem? Sir, is there a problem, sir? Is there a problem? Is there a problem, sir? Is there a problem, sir? Is there a problem, sir? Sir, is there a problem? Welcome back. The next comment for tonight is on Sinister Hotel. This is uh, the new room by Japa. It's kind of scary. Go check it out. Um, and this is from Raven Kid VR. He says, <clears throat> "What a great YouTuber. He's at work and still edits for us to get great content." Please never quit, man. You're my inspiration. Well, thank you, sir. I don't really know what to say to that, honestly. I, I like to hear comments like that, obviously. You know, strokes my ego, in a way. But at the same time, it, it feels like... I feel like an imposter. If you ever hear of imposter syndrome, it's like a, it's like a thing where you do something, but then you don't quite feel like you really deserve, you know, what you have. So, thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Uh, I... That's, I don't really even know what else to say to that. Just just thank you. So uh, earlier I said, you know, I've seen a couple of them. They, they have like an anime feel to them, your, your drawings and whatnot. Yeah. Do you have mm. a favorite anime? Uh, generally, I, I, like, I like the style of an anime called My Hero Academia. I've heard uh, about that one. I, I feel like the art style just like resonates with me because it has this like cartoony type feel, yet it, yet it's anime at the same time so it's like like generally like say with eyes i like to draw huge round eyes mm. and my hero academia generally has that mm. so generally in terms of art style my hero academia would probably be my favorite anime so it seems like I i've never watched the show but it sounds to me i don't know how it sounds to me but like uh, almost like a blend of anime i guess you would call it Eastern, what is that like like i don't know what what that where's anime is anime anime is japanese right so like like yeah. japanese art style and uh like western cartoon style kind of like a blend or no am i wrong yeah i i'd, I'd say so even though I, All right. i'm not that's it i'm not that descriptive is there anything uh that kind of inspires you to make something like like is there anything that makes you say like oh like i want to make this in rec room or whatever I, I think you've been been gone for a little bit hadn't you 
Yeah, I I've been doing stuff, so I gener I disappeared for a little bit, but I I made my return. Mm. But in terms of uh, doing art, uh, sometimes, well, well, most of the time, I like to draw my friends as a sense of experience because I get to draw these diverse characters in new ways that I've never drawn before. So generally, I'm drawing a lot of people for free. Uh, if you want an art piece from me, uh, feel free to ask. I'm super lazy, and I am uh, I procrastinate a lot. So <laughs> I just want know one. that I'm I'm lazy, but it, it will get there. And you just gotta have a little patience. Um. So so you can draw here in Rec Room. We can see that. Yeah. But can you draw in real life? Uh, I'd say that I can. Okay. Uh, it's generally, like, around the same. Of course, drawing in real life is obviously easier. But I feel like with Rec Room, the main reason I draw in Rec Room is because it's more of a, like, it gives me a sense of platform, provided that I'm not able to, like, buy these the art materials and yeah. stuff. Uh, I can just draw in Rec Room, do my own thing, get all the markers that I need, you know, just do my thing. Yeah, instead of having to get like a canvas and the whole marker set and all the paint and all of that stuff, it's yeah. all literally just here in front of you and you can do it. And there's no mess. Yeah. There's no mess. You don't have to clean yeah. up any of that. It's great. <laughs> I mean, if I, you have markers any, everywhere, that's an exception. But yeah, but but still. Um, well, dude, that's that's really cool. Is there any? Oh, but yeah. So so earlier, I was freaking out. Yeah, could you do one of me? <laughs> uh, I, I could. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did I have any other questions here? I don't think it. Oh, uh, what? Okay. Other than Rec Room, what is your uh, favorite game? Uh, generally, I, I know I mentioned this to you before, but generally I like to play this game called Brawlhalla. It's a 2D oh, fighting yeah. game, similar to Smash Bros, but it's a free fighting game that poor man Smash who, Bros. <laughs> whoever's into fighting games can play. Uh. It definitely has the similarities to Smash Bros. However, I feel like it's different in very many ways. But uh, I feel like it's just a good game for me to play. I I've gotten it on on PlayStation before. I mean, it's a good game. It's very much uh, a lot of the mechanics are like the same in in the sense yeah. of like you have your uh, the thing where you get off the level and then you have to shoot back up. That yeah, thing. recovery. Yeah, like recovery, that thing. And, and I mean, I've played it before. I'm not very good at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, how how long have you been with it? Have you been with it for like like since it came out? Or? Uh, I I played it like a long long time ago when like around the time when it first dropped. But then I for some reason just stopped playing it. And like a few months ago, I came back to it and I want to get really good at it. Mm. So I've been kind of spending my time on that. Don't and, they have, uh, uh, Don't they have wrestlers in there? Like WWE wrestlers well, they, in there? They they do like crossovers with okay. uh franchises. One of them is WWE, another's like Shovel Knight. Uh they got like uh people like Hellman. Uh they they they, they usually can get crossovers with of uh, these big franchises. Word. That's cool. I maybe I should go back and check that out. I know I there was a friend that I had and I played he, he is like a, a Smash Brothers like guy. That's like what he plays. Mm -hmm. So I played it with him and it was the only way I could beat him because, you know, even though it's it's very similar, you know, it's it's different. And so he was yeah. you know not used to it. I was like, Yes, I could finally have a chance. You know what I mean? <laughs> I can win. I could win. Even and then he learned it real quick and well it was you know mm. I enjoyed my sweet victory while I could. Um, well, do you have anything you know you'd like to to plug? You have a Instagram or a YouTube channel or anything like that? Uh, I don't remember my YouTube because I, I I don't generally try to make a YouTube channel. I just do YouTube videos. But in terms of Instagram, uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Techno X I I. The X and the I's are capital, and the T is capital. Uh, uh I think that's it. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for being on. I appreciate you being on. I, he, he joined, I think he joined, was it last stream? And then we just had a lot of fun afterwards in the Discord. And so yeah. I thought you you do try, you make 
cool pictures here in Rec Room. So the next comment for tonight is from Justice, and it is on a video that was a Discord exclusive video. It's called Highlights Number Four. I might be able to put it in the card here. I, I'm not sure if I can or not. But anyway, so if it's not in here, then you have to scroll way up in the Discord server to go, to, to see it. But uh, he says. Uh, this video is so old, man, and you've grown so much. Uh, by the way, I scrolled all the way up on general on Discord. That's how I found this video. Yeah, so this video, what happened, this has a little backstory to it. When when Justice first joined the channel, I was streaming every single night. And I think I did Rec Room uh, Friday and Saturday or something like that. I can't remember. But I was streaming every single night. And what I would do for a month, I did an experiment and I tried to take a full week's worth of streaming and just do the highlights for them. And I think highlights one, two, and three are still public, but four is not because I didn't think it was it was worth it. But um, yeah, so he found that one and I just put it on the Discord because I was like, it's not worth it to like put out, but then if the guys in the Discord server wanted to see it, they could see it. Um, dude, I forgot about all of those things. Like I went back, when he posted that, I watched that one. I watched all of them again because I haven't seen them in so long. I've definitely improved. I can say that. I've definitely improved. <laughs>welcome back for the channel update but first before we get to that we've got the last comment to do now this one uh, uh <laughs> this man's <laughs> void rr is that what it is void on rr uh he wanted me to read one of his comments from last week he said he kept wanting to be featured as a comment so here we're gonna do a comment for me i told him to keep commenting and he did so he says how to, oh wait, this was on, what was this on? This was on last week's episode of Rec Room Late Night. And he says, how do you get good at editing? How to get good at editing? And my response was, practice. <laughs> okay, if I could show, I don't know where it is. I'm sure it's somewhere on YouTube. My very first video, horrible, awful, garbo, okay? But you gotta practice. You know what I mean? You just keep putting it out there and eventually you improve. Because the way YouTube works, all that garbo from way back then, Nobody sees that stuff. Or if they do, they're like, oh, this is way back when he was Garbo. So, you know, like, it's whatever. Anyway, uh, the last thing we have for tonight is the channel update. This week, we are going to welcome 41 new beautiful faces here to the channel. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing this week. That brings us up to 1,000... 462 we're right there at 1500 do you think do you think i might hit 2000 by the end of this year i don't know it's gonna be close we're gonna see anyway if you did like it make sure to like subscribe all that good stuff if you know anybody that makes some cool stuff on the rec room make sure to suggest them in the comments have a good day everybody rcl man out